so i'm just actually coming back okay let's get into the room let me room tour before talking to you guys okay i left the okay, okay, okay. okay as you can see i'm just coming back from the training venue let me do like a proper room tour so coming in how can i okay yeah this is better so coming in this is the door we have like a mirror which is really nice for checking yourself out if you do that then we have the bathroom here it's quite nice it's manageable mm -hmm. it's literally two minutes from my training venue so this is a very good recommendation instead of you know using transportation and whatnot this is the bed obviously i'm not gonna use the um sh um towels we have like a sitting area a window and also we have like a clothing rack we also have the tv the unit my things my things yeah sweet room just perfect for me so let me turn the camera around all right so i came in this morning like early in the morning i was at the airport as early as 6 a.m the flight was for seven came in around eight it was really on time came straight to the hotel room kept my bag you know i just unpacked like perfume skincare yeah and toiletries immediately i you know used sanitizers and disinfectants to you know clean a few things freshened up and headed straight to my training venue because it's just like a minute or two from this hotel and what else i have been there since nine something and i'm just gonna like it's actually to four right now to 4 p.m and yeah i'm just gonna rest because i'm tired i'm gonna pray sleep a bit if i can i'm gonna force myself to sleep because i'm actually very exhausted but alhamdulillah i don't know whether i have like a sit down video i want to film i don't know if i'm up to it but i'm gonna try my best to see if i can and if i cannot can i just skip you because i'm tired <laughs> okay let me use the other hand i am super tired i just want to you know rest a little bit pray and eat later i don't know but i'm gonna be here in lagos for the next three days inshallah so yeah you've seen the lagos streets <laughs> that's if i'm up to going out because Honestly, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm so exhausted. I'm jet lagged. Um, I don't know. I have a sit down video I want to film. So I don't know if I'm up for it. But if I am, that's why I brought that tripod. If I am, I will. If I'm not, I'm just going to rest because I deserve it. So let me freshen up, pray, and then rest. Maybe we will talk a bit later. Ciao. So I ordered for food. I really wanted to go out for dinner, but I can't. I'm exhausted. I asked them what they had, and they told me jollof rice, everything you want. And I was like, okay, I want smoky jollof rice with chicken. And they were like, um, it's gonna take about 40 minutes. And I was like, what are you making from scratch? She said yes. I said no, 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 no. I can't wait. I'm hungry. So I asked for the simplest thing. I asked her whether they have soup. She said yes. They have egusi and everything on ground. They only have to make eba. I said, okay, we'll make eba. This eba came 35 minutes later. Eba, oh. Hmm. I'm so hungry. I'm just going to wash my hands and dig in. Bismillah. Hmm. Let me do like Yoruba, Yoruba people do. They have to mold it first. Bismillah. I don't know. I hope it's yum. I think she made this soup now. She lied. Anyways, it's my mom. It's okay, but the palm oil used 
I'm tasting the palm oil. I'm so hungry. So I want to go buy a couple of things. Someone told me there is like a supermarket or supermarket something close to the hotel. So I'm just going to go. Um, the head of my charger, is that the proper way to say it? Like the sockets aren't fitting it and I need to charge my phones and my laptop because I do want to watch a movie um, on Netflix maybe. So I want to go do that. And I just put on like hijab because I just prayed. And do you know what I noticed? I don't know whether you can see it, but there's. Can, can you can you see it properly? Well, yeah. It's burnt. I don't know, but we're so gonna wear it that way because that's the only hijab I brought. So let's go. This Anwar, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is my second bottle, and honestly, it worked for me. As I said, for me, I do have hyperpigmentation because of shaving and whatnot on my face. Um, this has worked for me, it's working. This is my second bottle, so like, I don't know, but it has worked for me. Um, I really wanted to make tea, I even washed this kettle, but. I cannot I know I don't know like this cup looks so dirty even if I wash it like I know so many lips are on it do you know when I travel I bring my own cup most at times I don't forget like my cup my teaspoon because oh my god so I'm just gonna do water I really want to take like a warm cup of milk or something warm tea I don't know let me just show you what we bought from the supermarket I don't know. I'm not a peanut girl, but these days I'm leaning on to peanuts. And this one I checked. I thought I saw no sugar. But there is um, 5 grams of sugar per 20, 21 grams of this. I don't know. So, I don't know, but... Yeah, I also bought this um, sugar-free um, high-fiber biscuit. I wanted to take it, you know, with my cup of milk, but it's not available. Wheat flour, vegetable oil, cream, wheat bran, edible salt, food additives, bicarbonate, edible spices. There is no sugar. Protein, 6.5. Carb, 60. But no sugar. This is so good. And then I bought some milk, coffee. And I can't make any of this. I'm so unhappy. I've already munched one of this. I'm going to have another. I feel super refreshed because I took a shower, did my skincare. The only thing missing is, you know, something warm. And I can't take it obvious reasons that i told you but i'm gonna start watching i want to edit like a video i don't know whether i'm gonna be able to do it it's a reels for you know instagram tiktok and youtube and i don't know whether i'm gonna be able to do it. it's my nighttime skincare routine i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it i'm gonna try attempt but i don't know yet so i'm gonna have my water peanuts watch a movie as well until I get sleepy honestly because um, I do get insomnia when I'm in a new environment and I cannot sleep on these pillows because they are dirty. The sheets are, it's not that they're dirty, it is washed obviously, pressed obviously, but it looks brown. They are white sheets but they look brown so that means it's old, so many people. And I actually bought a... Uh, silk pillowcase because of my hair and whatnot for home but i will be traveling with one pair i don't know did i buy one pair or two pairs i can't remember i did a huge um sheet in haul when i get back i'll try as much as possible to film it for you even though i can't show you everything because um 
most of them are night wears. You know, Shein has good night wears. So I bought just a couple of things that are night wears, but, but I bought a bunch of night wears and super beautiful as well. I'll try to link the silk pillowcase that I got for you if you're gonna buy it. And why am I out of breath? I didn't do anything anyways date I wanted to share with you and then you know my course the course I am you know doing at the moment at first I was skeptical about it but honestly I learned a lot today it has to do with what's the name of the course um it's workforce harmony and excellent workplace collaboration I don't know I you know you'll be like you just did it today but I can't remember yeah you know it has to do with emotional intelligence communication um, what else um, 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 you know work harmony teamwork whatever but the way I vented all my workplace problems to this facilitator it's gonna need therapy tonight but honestly I learned a lot and I'm gonna apply it in my day-to-day -day life um, my work as well like the people are my because I have some people in my work that honestly if not glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I feel like strangling them every single day of my life they make work so unbearable so annoying but i took i will take his advice what i learned from my course today and tomorrow and the next inshallah and i will apply it to my work inshallah because i asked a lot of questions and also give real life scenarios because i just wanted to be fixed <sighs> i don't know why i'm out of breath but i need to conclude this and do what I'm supposed to do. So I hope you guys, you know, like this little boring Lagos vlog and I would catch you guys tomorrow. I'm all dressed up I need to go out like now uh, my brother called me he was like you know my older brother lives in Lagos and he was like your training area is very close to my house and you cannot come and live with me and honestly I do not like living with family I'm serious it's not my nuclear family no 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 I don't like it I know he's my older brother my sweet brother but now he has his own family yes i did plan on going to see him maybe later in the evening you know to go see my nephew because that boy is already one year old and i've not really seen him since he was a baby and i really want to go see him so he was like come out i was like okay big brother okay so thank god i only paid for one night because i wanted to know how the hotel is i've never been or stayed here it's good it's okay manageable but I'm going later to my brother. I, I want to ask them now if I can keep my suitcase and after the training I'll just come pick up and get an Uber because I know he will be at work um, by the time I close from my training. So I'm going to big brother's house to spend time with the family with my little nephew. I'm so excited and you know Mitch and Kay they're based in Lagos like their headquarters and I was like why not just order a bunch of Mitch and K Greek yogurt and take it back to Abuja. I sent them a message and they were like, no, you don't have to. That we're they're delivering tomorrow um in the morning to I think Costco. Is it Costco? <laughs> it's not Costco. I can't remember um the name of the shop and H Medics. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, inshallah. So ciao. I said I finished my training and I then went to the hotel to pick up my 
suitcase i'm on my way to my brother's house i waited for an uber two cancelled and finally i'm on my way so yeah i'm sleepy i don't know why i'm sleepy but i'm sleepy i slept early yesterday i started watching a movie but then around 11 30 i think i just slept i don't think it was even 11 30 it was before 11 30 so yeah i'm very much excited to see my brother my sister and my nephew Good morning friends, I am in my brother's home. It's actually a bittersweet moment for me because I'm about to go to class and I decided to go back home today. You know, I wanted to sleep in today that I can go back tomorrow, but my um, my training is three days. Um, I think I told you earlier, so we're finishing today. So I could just, you know, after the training, come here, you know, sleep again and then go back tomorrow. But home is home. I just miss home. I know I need to, you know, get out of my comfort zone a little bit more. But not yet. I'm still, like, missing home. I just want to go back home. So I'm going back um, after the training. Immediately, I'm not even coming back here. So I've already packed my suitcase and um, everything. And I'll be going from there to the airport. I've already checked in online. And, yeah. My brother already got to work, I know, inshallah, and I miss him so very much, you know, we've not had that time to sit, because when I came yesterday, he was still at work, stayed for a couple of hours with the family, my nephew is so sweet and beautiful, mashallah, love Mubai, but it's not enough, I miss them so much, my sister in love, not sister in law, she's really sweet, you know, she's been making our meals, she's so hard working, mashallah. So she's so sweet. Um, so I miss them so much already. But I'll be on my way now, and I just wanted to, you know, check in. You know, she, the way she did the room, I really, I really, really, really appreciate. It. You know, she made me feel like I've not missed anything from home. I'm gonna go snap a few pictures with my nephew because he's so big, mashallah. And I know, don't know when I'm gonna see him again. But he needs to come to, you know, Abuja with the other kids. You know, we need to just have that kind of, you know time inshallah when i'm on leave hopefully because i want to be all in in the family drama the family bonding you know everything but alhamdulillah so i'm gonna go snap a few pictures and wait for the uber and get on my way thank you I'm about to eat. I'm at the airport right now and I just want to eat because I'm a bit hungry. I don't know why I eat pita cola. So my stomach is very hungry. This pie doesn't look nice but I'm very hungry and the choices aren't much. It's chicken. I love chicken. It's one scoop of rice and one pie. I don't know. So let's get to eat. It's almost time for my flight so 